cheap drums guy. Hey guys. So this kind of stuff is new to me. <clears throat> um, I've never, you know, I've got a lot of experience with all sorts of different kind of tools and whatnot. Uh, however, I've never used rivets or anything like that. And these are what they call pop rivets. Now, I knew I had rivets in the garage and I looked, I saw the box and said rivets. I just thought they were a little tiny sheath with, you know, that was hollow and you just pounded it through and all that. But evidently that's what they come with. They look like a crazy little push pin slash nail. And I actually had to look it up on how to take these bloody things apart. But what it is, that little nail is actually going through that little sheath. And you grab the head. Well, first, let me cut the, cut the nail part of it down a little bit. So I don't have to pull it through as far. Grab the tip. Bloody hell. There we go. Then I'm left with the little hollow, the little hollow tube. And that's what everybody's been using, but up to this point, I don't know how they were getting those. Maybe they come like that in some other some other way, but I've got to work with what I've got in the garage. And I'm fortunate that when I bought this house off my father-in-law, wonderful guy, uh, garage full of tools, three quarters of which I have no idea how to use. Uh. Come on, you come on. There we go. So on the videos, I, I always curious. I've seen guys put rivets in their symbols, but it's usually at the point where they're actually putting them in and whatnot. So maybe they're doing something different than me. I don't know, but. Figured I'd show a little bit of everything. I mean, for those of you who are, oh, I got some rivets, but what the hell do I do with them now? I'm learning as I go as well. There we go, there's another one. Okay. Tiny baby one. So there's three so far. I'm gonna go out in the garage and get some more, and then I can start popping some holes. What I plan on putting the rivets in is uh, this is that uh, Zildjian hi hat, Zildjian Navitas hi hat set that I got with the $30 drum kit. Uh, although they are Zildjian, uh, Navitas. I don't know exactly what kind of uh, Zildjian, where, where they rank on the hierarchy of Zildjian symbols. They just didn't sound that good together. And this one has a pretty sizable crack in it. So I opted to use this one to turn it into a, a trash splash or trash crash. But I thought I'd try a little something different because the crack has grown exponentially. I mean, it, it's grown quite a bit more. And again, I've laid into it a few times too. But uh, before it actually meets its demise and I figure out what to do with it, I'm gonna add uh, probably four rivets to it and see what kind of sound I can get out of it. And I think it would be pretty cool. I mean, I've seen a lot of guys do it on YouTube, just never done it myself. Now this is the other one, and this one's in very good shape. There's not a mark on it at all. There's a 
very tiny crack it looks like but going around the edge of the symbol I don't find any more on it but when you hit it this thing will go on for about five minutes I mean it, it really just keeps going it's not a bad sound it's a little it's very bright when you hit it with a stick so I want to change it a little bit and I've never put holes where I'm going to in a symbol today so I want to see what it'll do so I plan on putting uh, I'm just gonna start I'm gonna hit the symbol as it is I'm gonna put one hole right there hit it again another hole opposite from it hit it again and I'm just seeing what kind of sound it'll bring and uh, what it'll do to the overall uh, effect of the symbol so let me go back in the garage get some more of those rivets or I I think I need one more we'll get one more rivet and then uh, start pounding away and see what I can do with that eh hang around all right well I got the holes put in along the edges uh, just four of them <clears throat> now I'm gonna take the sheath of the rivet and I'm gonna put the nice rounded top edge on where, where it would be the the top of the symbol and you have to make sure the holes are uh, are big enough to uh, take the rivet it won't fall through of course but it'll hold it in and so I've got about a hundred of these so I'm going to use this of course it's the wrong tool for the job uh, disclaimer you know I am not responsible if you hurt yourself using sledgehammers and whatever it's common sense I'm not a trained professional, uh, but I'm going to take it easy and be careful. So all I'm going to do is insert that little uh, screwdriver into uh, the hollow point of that. Take a hammer. And smoosh it in. All I'm trying, I'm not trying to get it flat. I'm just trying to get it to a point where it'll stay in. I don't have to worry about it falling out. And so I got one in. It's really easy. These rivets are made of aluminum or aluminum if you're across the pond. And good day to those people there. Let me do one more then. I'll sign off. You don't need to watch me do all four of them. Ooh, that one turned out really ugly. Ooh, yeah. That's bad. But you can hear them. They're moving around in there really good. So let me sign this off real quick, and then I'll let you hear the end result. All right, here it is. And by leaving or putting the... The top pieces of the ribbon, the small, the small rounded over pieces of the rivet on the top, it gives it a better looking appearance. Now, let me throw it on this old hi hat stand and get this crap out of the way first. So we can hear what it sounds like with the rivets installed. I've never done this before, so I think this might be kind of cute. But huh. They go on a little bit, kind of like a sizzling bacon. Kind of neat. One more time. And they they jump around there like little Mexican jumping beans. I like that.
it was kind of a pleasurable, pleasurable sound. And it looks pretty good. It doesn't look any worse than the holes that are already in it. So Okay, now our last step. Let me show you how to ruin a perfectly good symbol. Uh, I dread this one a little bit because I'm not exactly sure what this is going to do. I tried looking up online um, where actually to drill on symbols to achieve different sounds. And you really can't find it. It's just after the fact. Well, I drilled holes all over the place and this is what I got. Um, now I assume uh, the glassiness and the washiness would actually be relieved if I drilled up in here, like towards the edge. But no one's really gone over what happens if you put holes near the bell. Not on the bell itself, uh, but near the bell. Uh, I'm trying to cut the sound down a little bit. Uh, it's extremely bright, very glassy. So let's drill some holes in this one and see what happens. Again, this is what it sounds like uh, with nothing on it. And if you were on a cymbal stand, it would just, it's, it just seems to go on forever. So, let's see what we can do. Already kind of punched little marks on the back. I'm, I'm, I'm doing this from the back side of the symbol. Uh, that way, even though I, I punched little uh, detents into it, so uh, the drill bit shouldn't slip, just in case it does, I'm not going to leave some half ass looking screwy uh, mark on the front. So let's see what she sounds like with the first hole. And one thing to remember is when you put holes in symbols, this is brass or bronze, however it is, but these little little, little pieces and little uh, things that stick up out of it are ex razor blade sharp. You gotta be flipping careful, which is one thing that I, I like to do to it, which is smart. Uh, no matter how big the hole you put in the symbol, it, it's always really important to go back in afterwards with a larger drill bit just set it inside the hole a couple squeezes so that way it kind of recesses the the hole a little bit and all the extra little sharp uh, edges on it will be removed okay that's one hole near the bell let's see what it sounds like a little deeper sounding than it was Let's try another one across from it. Oh, Lance Campau, if you could only see me now. And it's also important, which I didn't do this first time, is hold the symbol with your free hand. So that way, if the, eh, the drill bit catches it and starts flinging it around, you're not going to get whacked by it. I'm using the wrong everything for this. All right, there's two holes. You can see them there. So not really changing it that much. Let me just go ahead and put the other two in there real fast. I'm 
remember what I said about holding it so it won't fling around? Yeah, that hurt. Again, people, safety is paramount, first and foremost. Don't be like me. I'm a trained stuntman. <laughs> I'm actually spending 23 years in the Army, you're damn near. four holes. It's changed a little bit. Not a lot of bit. So I'm tempted to put one more hole in it. Uh, on the other ones I've cut up, <laughs> mangled, uh, they're generally all over the place. However, I'm trying to get rid of the extra, the glassiness and the wash. So I think I want to put one right up here towards the edge, but not too close. So if it gets whacked with the stick, it's not going to crack it right across the, so. Uh, do I have any? Not really. So, okay, let's try one. And hopefully it won't ruin the symbol. One more. And if it doesn't work, we'll just find someone to blame it on. And I'm not drilling into the carpet. I have a, a good sized board right there. All right, so I put another one right near the edge right there. Put the stick, and I'll screw it. Now, now with that hole and the other four around the bell, to me, right here, right now, um, the symbol f sounds like it has a little bit more mass to it, I guess. I don't know, hold on a second, let me grab this. didn't change it a lot again uh, I don't want to put another one on the other side I guess I think the smartest thing to do is put one right dead center between the two and see what we got there and this is the last one that I, I, I really want to put in the symbol so this one will go directly between the two before my battery dies on this bloody thing. Okay. Let's see what we got here. wrong with this symbol. Screw it. Going for broke. We already got them in here now. So I'm going to repeat what I did on that edge, on the other edge. Just try to knock them out 
in rapid succession here. So stay with me. don't want this to sound like a trash splash or a trash crash just that really quick decay I, I want it to sing a little bit but oh, really that one. all right now just a straight line across still lingers however the sound has changed a little bit and the cymbal sounds bigger than it is now that's just to me and i actually like it better uh, than it was uh, sound is subjective what sounds good to me might not sound good to you uh, and vice versa but uh that was kind of interesting and i do like the little rivet thing that turned out pretty cool and uh I mean, this stuff is, I mean, you can do on your own real easy. Um, it's good to find symbols that uh, people have discarded. They, they don't think they sound very good at all. Uh, and, and it's fun to kind of do this kind of stuff for yourself. You know, I've watched a lot of videos, again, of people putting rivets in and drilling holes. But until you really do it for yourself, you don't know what it's going to end up like. But uh, I think it was kind of fun. I like rocking stuff. Uh, but anyways, let's move on. But wait, there's more. This is something I forgot about the other day. I thought about this the other day, and I forgot to edit it on the video. I just remembered it, so I was going to add it to this video. And unfortunately, this video is going to be, is getting to the point it's going to be too long to add a story in, so I'll have to save that for tomorrow. But, uh, did the rivets. I like the rivets. That was all right. Uh, very light sounding addition to a cymbal and this one when we did the holes in it it didn't change as much as, as i was hoping but i thought maybe this would so in the garage you know i've got all sorts of nuts and bolts and washers and, and uh, all sorts of crap so i thought why don't i try putting two small bolts uh each one with a one of those split wash washers held on by a lock nut on the bottom, put in loosely. What would that sound like? Granted, this is a lot heavier than the rivets, and I thought it might make for an interesting sound. So I just put them in there, and let's see what these sound like together. keep going on. My excellent construction skills. One of them fell, fell off. I didn't have them in there tight enough. But that bolt, washer, and nut cuts it right off doesn't it it's kind of interesting probably should put them in there a little tighter so i wouldn't lose them all over the floor eh? but that's all i got for you today then and again it was too long of a video to throw the story in so maybe i'll i'll add that one in tomorrow and that one's about getting my combat cherry pop for the first time in 1990 so uh but anyways i'm todd the cheap drums guy and uh it's winter time people if you have your pets outside for their morning constitutional, don't leave them out there that long. It is very cold. And yes, your dogs can get frostbite and your dogs can suffer from hypothermia. But I'm Todd, the cheap drums guy, and you're not, and you're probably happy. Have a good day.